Rescue Morning Live. We got these gorgeous bikes that are coming to us. Uh, and you'll have an opportunity to ride them with the members of your team, all for a great cause. Uh, the event is for the Kidney Foundation of Canada. It's called Sit Kidney Cycle. And joining us from the foundation, uh, Bruce Hill and Craig Dunbar. Great to have you guys on the show. Oh, great to be here. Thanks. So I will start with you because it's a, a very fun event. It seems like it's going to be quite exciting. A lot of different challenges happening on the 14th of April. Yes, we're uh, out to uh, Place Orleans uh, Shopping Mall. We've got uh, 18 spin bikes we're going to take with us. The idea here is to get uh, teams competing against each other. We've got uh, prizes for most funds raised. I think the interesting one that will appeal to cyclists is the idea that uh, these uh, computers on these bikes can measure both distance and watts. So we will have uh, prizes for both those. Well, I think so, right? Because it's almost like a team relay. You've got the team members coming in and trying to push each other. That's right. That's get, right. And get the, the kilometers up and get the watts up. That's correct. And it's, so we're, we're looking for teams of two, three, and four people. The idea being we want people on the bike for an hour, switch over to another team member. So we really think that's going to bring out the competitive spirit in people. Yeah. Okay, by the way, we're going to, come on, <laughs> oh, push it a little bit. Go. There we go. We'll get things moving. Uh, now, this is, uh, of course, a big fundraiser for the foundation. What is some of the work that's being done, or where will some of the money go? Well, the Kenya Foundation uh, is a mostly research-based organization. and. Uh, uh, select where the money goes wisely in terms of uh, what research is being done and where the most benefit can be found. And they also do patient uh, support services. Um, there's some transportation cost relief for mm -hmm. patients who travel for dialysis, as well as uh, peer support groups and counseling. Uh, this is probably something that, well, I know it's dear to both of you, but for you, this was something that came out of the blue. Uh, you were very athletic, very active, and then all of a sudden life took a drastic change. Yeah, uh, just almost five years ago now. Uh, I was in good shape playing hockey, playing ball, uh, doing all kinds of stuff, mountain biking, and uh, sprained my ankle playing ball. And as a result of uh, the anti-inflammatories I was taking, I ended up triggering uh, an acute kidney failure. And so I've been on dialysis now for just shy of five years. I mean, it's a life-altering experience. And now you're, you're saying five days a week, you're on dialysis overnight for nine hours. So this is something interesting because you're able to do this out of your home. Yeah, it's a unique program that's run by the um, Riverside Campus of the Ottawa Hospital. Convent <coughs> excuse me, conventional dialysis. Uh, most patients go in center at the hospital four hours at a time, three days a week, uh, to maintain an athletic level and uh, maintain a health level and be able to work. I do it at home. Yeah, so 45 hours a week, I'm on uh, what I refer to as part-time life support. I, yeah, absolutely. It's almost like you recharge every night. You like we do our cell phones. You pretty much recharge your body. Yeah, absolutely. I just uh, you know hook up to the machine. I go to sleep. I have an artificial kidney that uh, cleans my blood for me overnight. Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing to see the work that's being done and how changes can be made that there are opportunities like this that are that are being offered. Absolutely. I mean, it's I mean, I think it's it's a, a devastating disease itself. But I mean, much work going on in the research side of things. We're trying to improve the quality of life for people that are out there. I mean, as Craig alluded to, we've got some great programs for people here in the city of Ottawa. There's peer to peer support. So people on dialysis, people who have the disease reaching out to others to try and improve their life, you know, maintain that quality of life that they have. What are the numbers like in terms of how many people here in the city are, yeah, are good, in dialysis? Yeah, and, good and point. Well, we, we typically say Canada wide, about 2.6 million people at risk of developing kidney disease. Uh, here uh, in the city of Ottawa, there's about 700 people on dialysis. So, folks like uh, Craig that uh, are able to do it at home, but most people do it in hospitals. So, those numbers are pretty significant. And every day, about 15 Canadians learn their kidneys have failed. So, and, and as Craig alluded to, I mean, most people find it, it's not like there's a sudden decrease in kidney function that you can monitor. Right. All of a sudden, you just it's find that you wake up one day and your kidneys are gone. It's, uh, it's really scary, but there is a lot of work that's being done, mm -hmm. and there's events like this that can help raise awareness Absolutely. and funds. Uh, again, the event's happening on April the 14th. People can head to the uh, website. Uh, kidneycycle.ca, or they can call a kidney foundation office here in Ottawa. Now, a lot of people you are looking forward to be able to have teams. But still, anyone, if they can, come out, get on a bike, um, be able to raise money for this. And if you can get a whole bunch of members from your team, maybe a couple of different uh, challenges between employees to get yeah. involved would be great. Uh, and again, the uh, website is kidneycycle.ca. You tired yet? <laughs> we can race to the finish okay, if you let's like. Let's race a little bit. Okay, okay. we're going to take a commercial break. Uh, we're going to be back in just a little bit. And of course, the uh, the big thing happening is in the next 15 minutes, we're giving away a Lazy Boy chill chair. If you live in Orleans, we could be knocking on your door.